Second problem, rates. Speed is an example of rate. Whenever a quantity changes by a certain amount in a fixed unit of time, we have a rate. Here is a sample problem. Tom can paint Mr. Thatcher's fence in six hours, while Huck can paint in five hours. If they work together, then how long will it take them to paint the whole fence? Okay, now we want to find the rate. The rate for Tom, that is, Tom can paint the whole house, let's say the whole house is a unit of one, in six hours. That's Tom's rate. Let's find Huck's rate. The whole house he can do in, oh, excuse me, five hours. So if we combine the two speeds, which means the two of them working together, the total rate is one over six plus one over five. So the total rate, if they are working together, the total rate is gonna be bigger than each individual because you know each of them contribute to the total speed. So they are going to work faster. So how long is gonna take the time is going to be the total house, that's a unit of one, and the total rate. So for, um, for lower grade students, we have to carry out this one first. So one six plus one fifth, we have to make, make sure the base is the same. How do we make sure the base is, the denominator is the same? So we basically change each fraction by multiplying the same number to the denominator and numerator. So in this case, we have to make sure the, these two bases will be changed to the so-called um, um, common multiplier. Six multiply five, and then top and bottom, we do the same thing. Multiply five to both, and for the second term, we multiply six to the top and bottom. So now they change into the same base, five multiply six. So the total speed is 11 30th, that's the bottom, and then you use one divided by that.